Tex tag bills going to the wrong addresses, costing toll customers big time. There's got to be lots of folks out there who have $10,000 bills that have no idea they have them. And that's just alarming. they got to find a new system. Last night on KXAN News, we revealed a system not working, a system that should be catching those mistakes before slapping you with late fees. There are huge discrepancies with the address system, the way that text Textag works with DMV. We, we are using the addresses that we have with DMV, so they should be getting their bills. And text blaming you for the frustration you're experiencing with their process. These poor guys, they have... I'm sure not a clue that there's some outstanding bill that they haven't received. But happy to report we have some good news tonight as we've learned a new fee structure is set to take effect on March 1st and it should help with future toll charges. And KXAN investigator Brittany Glass tells us about some other big changes in the works and hopefully relief in sight for at least some of the millions of Textag customers who've racked up massive fines in the past year. We've learned by the end of this month, the collections agency sending drivers all those late fees will no longer be contracted with Textag. Since right around the time we started investigating, there have been no additional accounts sent to collections. And if you still owe a late fee and actually know about it, they're trying to work with customers by giving out discounts. Still, some state lawmakers are not satisfied and want to make sure TxDOT truly fixes these problems for drivers' financial future. Taxing Texans to drive. That's how Senator Bob Hall sees tolls. The patchwork of systems we have, first of all, confuses people. So fixing the tax tag system is his priority ahead of the 2019 legislative session. The cost of collection, the huge agencies that the various tolling authorities have that are just con consumers of money. Following our initial investigation last fall, the North Texas lawmaker was one of a handful of state leaders who questioned the agency about Textag operations. He wrote to Text.Heads heads he's disturbed by certain toll tactics, like trying to fool the public by simply removing the word toll from the title, using the term managed lane instead. Senator Don Huffines gave his concerns, too, about the public finance decisions being made and their ramifications for Texas taxpayers. Telling Text.Heads managed lanes only cater to people with money. Others can't afford the same opportunity to avoid traffic. And state representatives Representative Mike Schofield's office had to intervene with Textag directly when a constituent said Textag can't get their equipment to work and his account was sent to collections. Just want to make a couple of comments on the issue, a couple of the issues, and then where I think I see us going based on what I've heard here today. Senator Hall was at the most recent Transportation Commission meeting with hopes of addressing decision makers face to face. That's when it became clear, though, they don't see eye to eye. I'm reminded in discussions that I have that when I turn on the water, that's a choice of how long I turn it on. The light bulbs we use in here, the type of electricity or how long we turn the lights on, that is a choice. The bottom line for Commissioner Jeff Austin? It is a choice. You know, it's a choice. It's not a tax. It's a choice. The worker or the laborer's choice is do I get home a little early or do I get home with milk for the baby? Despite the difference in opinion, Senator Hall says he's committed to fixing the problem. What we have to do is minimize the imperfections that are in it. We need to take a look at it and see what we can do to improve it. Part of that means looking at TxDOT toll roads planned for the future. Remember last fall when TxDOT released its outlook, it included more than a dozen new managed toll roads. Within a day, though, the governor and lieutenant governor fired back, reminding the commission they don't want more tolls. The commission has since revamped the plan and axed a majority of those toll roads. In Austin, Brittany Glass, back to you. Brittany, thank you. This whole investigation started when you weren't getting help from customer service and turned to us for help. We delivered hundreds of your bills to TxDOT for answers, and we've now discovered some state leaders have received this flyer, what appears to be a mock-up of tips to maintain your account. It tells you what to do if you buy a new vehicle or if you sell a vehicle. Also, if you get a toll bill for a vehicle you no longer own or you move. We reached out to TxDOT to find out when and how customers will start receiving that flyer 
but it would certainly help as those issues were some of the main complaints we heard from you. KXAN State of Texas host Josh Hinkle has also been speaking with lawmakers on our political program about the changes that are in the works. Yes, and one of those lawmakers, Representative Tony Dale of Cedar Park, he has two toll roads in his district, and he says he was encouraged by these developments, the most significant, before collections and customer service billing contracts are with two different entities, which was likely behind a lot of the confusion and miscommunication. Starting next month, it will all be combined under one entity conduit. Dale says it's a promising first step, but there's still a long way to go. And as a result of what you did and follow-up questions that we did also, we went back to TxDOT and said, yeah, that's a good question. It needs to be answered. And they went to Conduit, the company that manages the text tag system, and now they've forced them, essentially, and Conduit has agreed to do what's called skip tracing so that if someone has moved, and this is a problem with people moving and not updating their information, but now Conduit does this skip tracing so that should result in more people getting their bill in a more timely manner, and I really think it's partly as a result of you guys asking that question. But consistently, we've heard from the executive director and the Texas Transportation Commission, Jeff Austin in particular, that it's the customer to blame. With that kind of culture at the top, is that right? Should those people be in those positions? Well, I think they can do better. I've had meetings with all of them except for Mr. Austin and express my concerns over how we can improve the system. And um, I get pretty good feedback from them, but I'm still in a wait and see mode. I think we're still in for another year, maybe more, before we can transition to a system that's really going to be responsive to toll road users. And will you look at the leadership at that point to see if the fix is working? Should there be a change in leadership? <clears throat> They're not going to be able to get the support if they can't fix what they currently have. Certainly, lawmakers will be watching closely ahead of the next session in 2019, and there will be committee hearings in the meantime, where I'm sure they'll be asking TxDOT a lot about the progress. Josh, thanks to you and your team. If you want to catch up on our complete text tag troubles investigation, go to this story in the investigative page of KXAN.com right now.